The city of Syracuse is buzzing with excitement. The atmosphere is half Hollywood, half Disneyland tonight as hockey fans celebrate the triumphant return of their favorite game. An overflow throng approaching 6,500 exuberant fans has poured its way into this grand old building where tonight we will all share in hockey history. Yes, professional hockey has returned to Syracuse. Central New York 9 presents Syracuse Crunch Hockey. Live from the War Memorial in downtown Syracuse, it's the opening night of the 1994-95 American Hockey League season as the Syracuse Crunch hosts the Albany River Rats. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Logan. Welcome to a wild Onondaga County War Memorial where the Syracuse Crunch are about to take the ice against the Albany River Rats. Not since the grand opening of the Carrier Dome in September of 1980 has an opening night created such a fuss. 1980, ironically, was also the last time professional hockey skated in Syracuse. Well, for a decade and a half, hockey fans have been starved for their fast-paced and exciting game. That is now over. Hockey has returned to Syracuse in a big way. Let's take a look at some of the excitement on the ice as the pregame festivities continue. Nothing like I thought, but when we tried to get a hockey team for so many years, I thought it'd be great to just see a puck drop there and the season open up, but only Howard Dolgan could bring it to this level. We got, I mean, it's strictly luck. We got real lucky finding a man out of New York City who wanted to help us with our venture here, put a team in, but Howard has brought this to another level. The excitement here is just unbelievable tonight. It's been an exciting day from the time we started this morning at breakfast. This team is aligned with the Vancouver Canucks at the perfect time after their Stanley Cup run last year. Not only that, Doug, we searched long and hard after Howard came along as to which team we should pursue in the NHL. And there was never a doubt that Vancouver, unlike a lot of NHL clubs, are committed to building from within. They believe in, in taking their young players and, and grooming them in their farm system. And that was important, you know, like the... The New York Islanders would have this year only eight or ten players of this caliber under contract. Vancouver sent us 20 of them. It's wonderful. How about the team that's assembled here in Syracuse? What are your thoughts on it? Well, my thoughts are, I don't know if there's an American League team this year starting with 14 rookies on the squad. Uh, so you may see some jitters here that you might not see with a few more veterans, but they do have a couple of veterans here who hopefully can settle the young kids down and it'll take a couple of games for them to find their legs and get rid of the nerves, but good team. Coach Jack McElhargy has said that the key word for this team is focus. There's a lot of hullabaloo going on this evening. There's a hockey game to be played. Focus and desire, Doug. If you're a product of McElhargy, there's no quit in you. He was a tough-nosed, good, hard hockey player, and that's what he expects from his boys, and he'll get it. Just as the Syracuse team is young, the Albany team is a real veteran squad. They're a veteran, but, you know, we've got you know, on this team, like Vancouver said, we've got some shooters and some scorers, and if two scores and more scores, that win, and, and if these young guys can put the puck in the net a few times, those veterans will get a little shook up. You see the Syracuse Crunch hockey team introduced with all the spotlights. Now Coach McElhargy has been introduced as well. Fourth year head coach. He says this is a young team, but a fast skating team. Fast skating team and they can shoot the puck. And we've got some pretty good scores that some of our fans will see tonight. There's a lot of kids here, 40, 50 goal men, who, who might be able to score 30 goals in this league, which will be wonderful for us. 
What can you say about the fan support here in Syracuse, Brian? You know, just all the hype from the time we announced this to the time we unveiled the logo right up to tonight. These fans were more ready for hockey in Syracuse than even I thought they were, Doug. The response season tickets were nearly hitting 3,000 here, which is we're already, I think, number two or number three in the American Hockey League. This is a 70% walk-in league, so it'll tell you something about the crowds we can expect. A look at the Albany River Rats as they take the ice, and let's go down to the ice to meet some of the players. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in 1980, a group of young men won the hearts of all America, along with the words, do you believe in miracles? They captured Olympic gold in hockey. Watch the TV screens. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one of America's greatest moments in sports history was goalie Jim Gray wearing an American flag that a fan brought to him on the ice. That fan was from Syracuse, New York, and that fan is here tonight as the vice president of sales for the crunch. His name, Mr. Peter Capacilli. Please welcome Peter to the ice with the very same flag that Drake Jim Craig's shoulders in the victorious gold medal lap at the 1980 Olympics. to sing our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tiffany Countess. Tiffany Countess, ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem.
You're watching Syracuse Crunch Hockey on Central New York 9. It's like a nightmare. We're scared, angry. Later I realized how lucky we were to be with Nationwide Insurance. The robbery really devastated Don's family. Obviously I got one of our claims people involved right away. They were very supportive. Because of they wrote us in advance and promised to get everything back the way it was. We wanted to get their life back to normal. For auto and home insurance, business protection, life insurance and investment options, call a professional Nationwide agent like Chris Hurley in Syracuse. Visit New York State's largest RV show, three days only, at the Empire Expo Fairgrounds. See the premiere showing of the all-new 1995 models. 200,000 square feet of inside and outside exhibits and displays. Prizes and giveaways every 15 minutes. Plus, register to win this B-104 1995 Jayco trailer. Thrilled at Twiggy, the amazing water skiing squirrel. Shows every two hours. Huge discounts, clowns, cartoon characters, all at the RV show, September 30th through October 2nd at the State Fairgrounds. People often ask where I get the ideas for the Family Health Cast, and one of the things that I do is listen to what viewers tell me. They call me, they write to me, and one of the things that people are talking about now, a lot about, is cancer. There are communities where the incidence of cancer is unusually high. People want to know how close are we to a cure? Why are so many people getting it? What can we do to prevent it? Those are some of the answers that I'm trying to find. People need workfare, not welfare. Today, 1.6 million New Yorkers are on welfare. That costs taxpayers billions of tax dollars every year. We must give people the skills they need to get off welfare. But under Mario Cuomo, welfare spending always goes up, while workfare has gone down. We must do better. We need workfare, not welfare. George Pataki, the new governor New York needs. George Pataki, it's time for a change. We are live from the Onondaga County War Memorial, where Riddick Bow, outstanding boxer, has just been introduced to the multitudes. Gordy Howe, Hockey Hall of Famer, has just spoken, and we are going to have the ceremonial puck drop coming up momentarily. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go down to the ice. County Executive Nicholas Pirro will drop the first puck at center ice with the legendary Gordy Howe and the former and future champion Riddick Bowe. Electrifying. Boy, you know, I don't think we could ever have expected to see anything like this, Doug. I think uh, only uh, Howard Dolgan, I guess, could bring it, like I said before, to this level. He's done some kind of job with opening ceremonies. If we can just have this kind of hockey continue tonight, we're, we're in for a heck of a game. 
Let's review some of the outstanding personnel. Who are some of the folks that we'll be watching here this evening, beginning with Mike Fountain in goal? Well, of course, Mike Fountain's coming out of Vancouver, uh, highest on their list, their number one prospect. Uh, we're going to see great goaltending. Even the backup, Doug, I'm excited about seeing this young kid that they've got for a backup. McNaka, uh, Sonny McNaka. McNaka is a kid that, that they kept saying was too small all the way through junior, but boy, he's really come up big here. I didn't expect him to make this club when he came out. I thought he was the number three man, but he's a backup goalie. Fountain played in one game during the preseason. He lost to Albany seven to six, had 18 saves, played in the American Hockey League with Hamilton, had four shutouts, 70 games, 34 wins, 28 losses, and six ties, and a 3.61 goals against average. The goaltender for the Albany River Rats, Mike Dunham, a U.S. Olympian, and played with Binghamton. We have a capacity crowd on hand at the War Memorial for the opening of the 1994-95 American Hockey League season. And in the stands, we have Tim Fox to capture some of the flavor of the evening. How does it look from your angle, Tim? It looks mighty fine, Doug. I'll tell you, the 6,500 fans in these stands, each one of them was given one of these crunch time towels to wave this evening. A lot of them have already bought their paraphernalia, one of the big sellers tonight for $2, the inaugural edition of the Crunch Times program. Uh, joining me now is Dave McKenney from Syracuse. Now, you remember some of the old teams like the Blazers and the Firebirds. What do you think on a night like this? Oh, boy, a exciting night. I used to come back when I was a kid to watch the Blazers. Now I can bring my own kids to watch hockey again here in town. Is it going to make it? Oh, I believe it is. It's a first-class organization. You can show by the turnout tonight. I think it's going to be great for the town, and I hope they're here a long time. This is one of the hottest tickets in Syracuse in a long, long time. Joining now, Steve Zapko of Utica. What do you think about it? You guys had the Devils. What can we expect from the AHL? Oh, uh, this, we miss it in Utica. That's all we can say. We miss American Hockey League in Utica. This is great action. We want it back. I'll travel 50, 70, 100 miles just to see this kind of hockey. It's, it's exciting, very exciting. Electricity in the crowd, Doug and Brian. Do you want me to mention the possibility of uh, tomorrow night ESPN? This team. There's no smoking in the War Memorial. Smokers may exit the arena to smoke outside. Please produce your ticket stops to re-enter the building. Adrian O'Coin is out there for the Syracuse Crunch. Loney. Ryan Loney, number 17, is on the ice along with O'Coin and Tremblay. Gerard also out there, along with John Nemesnikov on defense. Gerard and Ralston at center ice. And we're set for the opening faceoff. Ralston and Gerard. The puck is dropped, and hockey has returned to Syracuse. Puck shot into the Albany zone. Loney in back, in front for Tremblay. He can't handle it. O'Coin throws it in, now shoots it wide to the far side. Loney has it, far boards. He's watched by Ralston. Gerard brings it out to O'Coin near the blue line, and here come the Albany River Rats. They get it out of the zone with Helmer. Big check there at center ice. And we have a whistle and a stoppage of play. First offside, Doug, as uh, hockey fans here know, no one can be in the zone before that puck crosses the blue line, so we got an offside. Nationwide Insurance and your local nationwide agent, proud to sponsor the Crunch and bring hockey back to Syracuse. Line change, puck shot in to the Syracuse zone. Walker behind the net to the far side and Bahanas out to center ice taken back by the River Rats. Fountain stops behind the net. Walker circles, gets it off to Watton and Watton up the far boards, dumps it to center ice. Hulse for Albany, misplays the puck and Breland has it back in the Albany zone. Out to center ice, taken by Syracuse. Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov, the near side, looks down low for Bahanas in the turn of the boards. 
Breland breaks it up. Now the crunch has it. In front, shot just wide. Comes to the near side. Walker keeps it in and plays it to the turn of the boards. Stevens hit by Hulse. Stevens now controls the puck, and Breland comes away with it. Out to center ice, and the crunch swarming all over the ice. Boy, I tell you, these kids are skating great here in the early going, Doug. Two trademarks of this team, young and fast. Far sidelines. Stevens dumps it wide. Jackson, who just got the call down from Vancouver due to the lockout, can't handle the puck, and it's shot into the Syracuse zone. They're going to wave off icing. Walker starts out of his own. Out of Jackson. He plays it up. Getting a stick on it. It's Kessa. And the River Rats break out. Ruckty into the Syracuse zone. Mishandles the puck. And Tully comes away with it. We have a whistle. Had a delayed offside there, Doug. It took a minute to uh, get the linesman to blow the whistle. 17.45 remaining in the first period. No score. The Crunch and the River Rats from the War Memorial in Syracuse. I think what you'll see here tonight, Doug, by the jitters, you'll see a lot of players out of position here tonight. They'll start wandering around the ice, but they'll settle down in a, after a half a period. Darrell Filipek now on defense along with Brent Tully. Here's a shot saved by Fountain. A whistling drive from the near side. Shot by Ralston, but Fountain was up to it. Crunch knocked the puck into the Albany zone, and we have an icing. You're watching Syracuse Crunch Hockey on Central New York 9. 